Hello, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to try the Daryl Lee Chocolate Block Range. Very excited for this one. Let's get into it. Just a bit of history. Daryl Lee is an Australian confectionery company. They've been around for a very long time. Word of warning. Everything here is very high in sugar. This is a once in a while treat, really. First up, Rockley Road. So this is their version of Rocky Road chocolates. Here you're getting 180 grams, 175 milligrams of sodium, 51.6 grams of sugar, 31.4 grams of fats. So first up, the traditional Rocky Road. This is actually really nice. It is very sweet. The balance of the sweetness is well judged. The milk chocolate is also very creamy. Quite a fan of this, eight out of 10. Up next, Rocky Road Raspberry. Still 180 grams. Ingredients, sodium 168, sugars 50.7, and fats 27.8. Rocky Road Raspberry. So this particular one has these little raspberry style candies inside. Not so sure I like them. These are extremely sweet and they're a little bit sour. It kind of throws off the balance of the chocolate. This is one of those circumstances. The original is still the best. More doesn't necessarily mean better. Giving this one six out of 10. Raspberry Bullets White Chocolate. If you've ever tried Daryl Lee stuff, they make these things called bullets. It's basically a soft candy inside, covered in chocolate. I'm personally not a fan of bullets. I think they're very artificial, but how does it go when it's in a chocolate block form? It's 180 grams, 75 milligrams of salt, 51.6 grams of sugar, and 29.1 grams of fat. All right, the raspberry bullet white chocolate flavor. No surprises since I don't like bullets. I don't really like this flavor either. To be fair, I was expecting this to be overly sweet and it's actually okay. The chocolate itself, for a white chocolate at least, is reasonable. It gets five out of 10. Up next, cookies and cream, white chocolate. 170 grams now, so it's a drop in size. 88 grams of sodium, quite high in sugar, 54.2. Fats also quite high, 31.7. Lots of marshmallow pieces in here. So the cookies and cream flavor with marshmallows. Surprisingly, I quite enjoyed this. I was skeptical about the marshmallows at first. It works very well in this instance. So whilst I don't always enjoy white chocolate, I do enjoy this one. This particular flavor gets eight out of 10. Up next, Daryl Lee Dark Chocolate. No extra ingredients added to this one. 170 grams total. Sodium, four milligrams, that's really good. Sugars, it's under 50%. And fats, 29.6. All right, the Dark Chocolate. I wanted to like this, however, it's actually surprisingly sweet. There's no extra ingredients in here to liven things up. The overall experience of eating this, a little bit too rich. And because it's so sweet, it's quite intense. This gets a six out of 10. And up next, caramel cheesecake. In 160 grams, 46 milligrams of sodium, 57 grams of sugar, and 21.2 grams of fats. The Caramel Cheesecake Milk Chocolate. This one is very nice. Very impressed by this. Normally I'm not into caramel flavors, but in this case, they've combined all the flavors really well. It's crunchy, it's got good texture, but at the same time, it's also very creamy. This gets seven out of 10. Up next, Crunchy Nut Milk Chocolate with Corn Flakes. Another co-branding, it's obviously based on a cereal. 160 grams, 42 milligrams of sodium. 52.8 grams of sugar and 23.4 grams of fat. Crunchy nut cornflakes. 
This is an okay flavor. I feel there's probably not enough cornflakes in here. And actually there's not a lot of nuts. Like for the image, you see what they're showing here and what you're actually getting. Not very realistic. I didn't notice it earlier, but if you're looking at this and the actual Rocky Road, the nut pieces are a lot smaller than what the packaging shows. Anyways, this flavor, there's not a lot of cornflakes. And as such, it's really just a milk chocolate block. A little bit boring in my opinion. Six out of 10. Up next, the Peanut Brittle Milk Chocolate. 160 grams, 255 milligrams of sodium, 52.8 grams of sugar, and 30.9 grams of fat. This is encouraging. Bigger pieces of peanuts in this. Peanut brittle, what do we think? This is quite a good flavor. It's certainly superior to the crunchy nut, simply because it's got whole pieces in here. Really like that. It's crunchy. The milk chocolate does blend well with the peanuts, giving this 6.5 out of 10. Peppermint dark chocolate. According to this, these are nougat pieces with peppermint flavor, 170 grams. 26 milligrams of sodium, 51.9 grams of sugar, and 25.8 grams of fat. So if you're looking at this closely, that is all the peppermint piece I can find out of a quarter of a block. And these two don't seem to contain any, really. All right, the peppermint dark chocolate. Not really a fan of this one. Peppermint nougat is a little bit overpowering. It's quite bitter, so is the chocolate. Overall, I don't think the flavors complement each other that well, and it leaves a very sweet aftertaste. So the whole thing is just a mishmash of flavors. Best I can give, five out of 10. And lucky last, we have the Campos Coffee Crunch Milk Chocolate with real coffee bean grounds, 160 grams, 56.4 grams of sugar, and 22.4 grams of fat. The Coffee Crunch Milk Chocolate. Didn't know what to expect with this one, but this one has pleasantly surprised me. Realistically, the chocolate doesn't contain a lot of visible pieces of ground coffee. However, the taste is very realistic. It does certainly remind me of coffee. And overall, I think they've blended this flavor really, really well. So the coffee flavor, it gets seven out of 10. And time for a conclusion. Word of warning, everything here is very high in sugars. In terms of flavors, Standouts would be the traditional Rocky Road, the cookies and cream white chocolate, caramel cheesecake, and finally, the coffee crunch. Finally, here's a table of how they rank in our ever-growing list of sweet products. Everything, no surprise, is ranked quite low. At the recommended retail price, these are quite pricey. It's hurt by the low value for money scores, and of course, the ingredient scores are quite low. So please enjoy them in moderation. And that concludes today's episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next one. And please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much.